peace to everybody. It's your boy. Let's talk. We back with another video. All right, man. So I want to talk about, you know, why it is important that you must, you know, deal with your depression, your anxiety, your sorrows, why you got to get over your pity party. Um, I just been inspired by watching um, a, a YouTube video by a content creator who I wasn't familiar with until maybe about an hour ago, literally. Uh, his, his, one of his videos came up on my news feed and I, I liked the video so much that I, I, I clicked on his channel and I started looking at a few of his videos. One, I recognized his background because um, first, let me give a shout out to the content creator. His name is uh, Chris Jobson. So shout out to Chris Jobson. And when he was talking, I recognized the background because he was walking in downtown Detroit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I also watch another content creator who goes by the name of Anton Daniels. I don't know if they know each other. I don't know if Chris is inspired by Anton because Anton kind of do the same thing in the morning. He walked through downtown Detroit before he head to his, his office. And, you know, I watch Anton a lot that the background I, I, I'm, I'm like familiar with. And so I started watching it and that's what kind of drew me into Chris' channel. And then the things that he was saying, you know, drew me even more to the point where I even just subscribed to him. And, you know, one of the videos he was talking about was saying that how, you know, how we as people, I'm assuming he's talking about all of us. I'm not sure if he dedicated uh, to just men only. But, you know, me being a man, I'm going to put it as for men. But all of us, we, we have to battle depression, especially men. You know, we really can't afford to to be depressed, to be, you know, having pity parties, to just, uh, just wallow up in sorrow and misery and despair. And I've been going through this, <clears throat> this thought process for like the past like week or so, you know, just thinking about a lot of things. I've been um, making phone calls the past few days and, and reaching out to people that I haven't talked to within years. And I don't, if I can be real transparent with y'all, I like, I feel like I'm going through like a midlife crisis. I just turned 40 years old, May 22nd. And, you know, I'm at the point in my life where I'm just looking back and reflecting on things. And I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of regret if I'm being real with y'all. I, I, I know it's the point to come on social media and, you know, pretend like everything is okay. Pretend like everything is, is fine and dandy. You know, from the outside looking in, a lot of people probably presume that you know my life is just grand and everything but in honesty it's not um we all got issues and we all deal with stuff and i've never been the type of person who like to talk about my sorrows and and things that i've gone through online <laughs> like that's something that I, i've i've never done you know and i, I really don't want to start doing that but if I'm going to talk about depression, I have to be transparent. I have to be real. And I have to, you know, let you know that this is things that I even deal with and, and battle with myself. So it, it was real confident to to hear, you know, voices that I haven't heard in years and, and you know, give me words of encouragement, words of wisdom. And then I, I come to social media and I, I listen to people like Anton Daniels, now uh, Chris Jobson. And, and many others. And I think us as men, we we need that. Because a lot of times we're, we're taught that we can't express ourselves. We can't, you know, talk about our feelings because we looked at as being weak and, and less than. But, you know, we're all human. We all got emotions. We all got feelings. We all go through stuff. Some of us are able to deal with it better than others and and some of us can't I, I look at myself as one of them people who can deal but it, it comes to a break a point where it's like a breaking point and it's just like 
Like, damn. Like, is there anything going to change? So when you talk to people and when you really get to listen and if, if someone will really care about you, they tell you that a lot of times we got the tools. We already got it ourselves. We just refuse to do what's best for us because we we we, we like to just live. In the here and now, we like to, like my godmom used to say, we like to live within the flesh instead of living within the spirit. And like, I feel like that's me a lot. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that a lot of other people feel the same way. So like, I, I've been, you know, having this question with myself because now I'm at the point where it's though like I'm I'm tired of being tired. I'm, I'm I'm tired of feeling the way that I've been feeling. I know that I can do more. I know that I can be more. And you know I'm just tired of being a slacker, a procrastinator, a, a bullshitter and, and just doing just do better for me and myself. And 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 and, and not my, just myself, but my family. Because I, I know if I put the effort in, it's damn near impossible, you know, not to get ahead. But talk is cheap. You know, we, we live by action. And I'm, I'm acting. So, what I started to do for what I've been hearing was, and I've heard this from like a few different people uh, over the last four or five days. So, you know, you, you write things down to existence. Now, like I said, like stuff like this is stuff that I've never ever thought of, but uh, I actually just took the time out today and... I don't know if y'all can see this, you know, start writing some things down and write it in a way where as though, you know, <clears throat> where you're speaking that you already are. For example, you know, I am a servant and a child of God. I am a great father. I am a great son. I am a great brother. You know, I am a millionaire, although <laughs> I'm not a millionaire right now, but you get what I'm saying. I am a millionaire. I am successful. I am debt free. I am worthy of forgiveness. I am worthy of happiness. I will leave a strong foundation and legacy for my children and family. Like this is just some of the things that I, I jerked down today and I'm sure it's going to be more. But, you know, I wrote this down and this is something that I'm going to start saying every single day, every moment, you know, every morning, every afternoon, every evening uh, before I go to sleep. I'm going to continue to start reading my Bible more because that's something that I haven't been doing. And I, I just started recently doing that again. And like I was telling like my best friend earlier on the phone that it's just time to stop. It's time to stop procrastinating. It's been time. It's been long overdue. And um, if we can better ourselves as people, as individuals, then a lot of times the feelings that we feel, we get out of them. Because a lot of times our depression, our sadness, a lot of times it's associated with our lifestyle, our current um, predicament, where we at in life. And if you can change that, then we can change our spirit, how we feel. So um, I just want to give a shout out to Chris. Um, I want to give a shout out to Anton. Uh, shout out to everybody else and um, just <laughs> I'm just hoping that we can all do better and that I'm, I'm rooting for you because I know if if you try then th there's no way you can't succeed but that's all I got man let me know what y'all think drop your comments down below
Make sure I hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.